Before we calculate a Fourier series, it often pays to check what type of function we're calculating the Fourier series of. For example, if we have an even or an odd function um, as an integrand or integral, the calculation of the Fourier series will be simplified. But why is this? First of all, an integral over symmetrical limits, and uh, by this I mean limits from negative a to a, of an odd function, let's say f is odd in this case, this integral is zero. This makes sense, because if you think of the integral as an area, we have as much area above the x-axis as we have below, because uh, of um, the fact that the function is odd. So if the integral to be calculated for the Fourier series has symmetrical limits, and if the whole function under the integral, the integrand, is odd, then there is no need to calculate, as the integral will simply be zero. Uh, we've had some examples of this already, uh, where we calculated a n, which was zero, after a bit of a calculation. So, for Fourier series, this means the following. If our function f of t is odd, so f is odd, we know that cos nt is even, and we also know that multiplying an odd and an even function will result in an odd function. So this integral is equal to zero, and with that we've calculated a n really quickly, without actually calculating any integrals. Now, similarly, if the function f is even, and we're looking at bn, sine is odd, and of course, again, the product of an even and an odd function is odd, this means that bn is going to be equal to zero. So just to recap, if we have an odd function f, we're calculating a n, we know automatically that that must be equal to zero. If we have an even function f, and we're calculating bn, we know automatically that that must be equal to zero. There is a second property of even or odd integrands uh, I would like to mention, and that is if we have an even function, and we're trying to integrate it over a symmetrical interval from negative a to a, this is actually twice the integral from 0 to a over the same function. Um, it makes sense, because uh, for even functions, of course, we've got the symmetry in the graph, uh, and the area enclosed to the left of the y-axis is mirrored by the area on the right. So we might as well only do half of it and multiply it by 2. So if the integral to be calculated for the Fourier series has symmetrical limits, and if the whole function and the integral is even, we can change the limits from 0 to a and multiply the integral by 2. I don't have an example here at the moment, but we will benefit from this soon and you will then see some examples.